man, that's good. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. This is part one to our Delta Force 29 build series. Uh, this is hatch fitment. Okay, we're going to basically just fit the hatch. Uh, it's going to be kind of a quick video, but a lot of times you get a bear haul and the hatches don't always fit right. And some guys may not know how to do it. Simple enough, but, uh, you know... I, it could be tedious at times uh, so I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through some of the things I've got going on I'm still in the, the thought process on this build I haven't even drilled a hole or anything okay I've just been looking at it <laughs> so stick around you guys I'll try to make it quick Big B we're ironclad RC So let's get to it you guys before we get to the hatch i just wanted to show you guys the the johnson seahorse outboard motor decals i got for the boat and um you know i i knew the johnson fives were small so i figured it would like be the perfect size for this boat and i've got some tape on it i'm just kind of figuring out where i want to put everything i really like the i like i love that seahorse logo i always have my dad liked it my dad's Nickname was John Rude, Johnson, Evan Rude, John Rude. He was a specialist at those two, uh, two stroke, old two stroke motors. So, um, you know, I'm thinking about putting the old seahorse right here, not the just that, you know, and uh, maybe going back here with the actual seahorse name itself, you know, um, kind of contemplating putting this right here and, and splitting the Johnson so that half of the Johnson comes off with the hatch and half stays on the boat. Or going kind of right there with it, basically. One on each side with the, the horse in the middle, you know. And uh, the fives, the five with the horse right here. And then the other five will basically go right there. Something like that, you know. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, something different, you know. So um, let me kind of show you guys what I've got going on inside the boat because I've, I've, like I said, I've just been kind of doing different setups. I've been moving my, my motors around. Uh, I'm thinking something like this would kind of look clean. I'll probably scoot my motors back a little bit more. The, the back of the can will probably be somewhere in here. That way I could put battery. I'm thinking about putting a battery here and a battery there type deal or maybe side by side depending on uh, how big the batteries are and weight distribution at the time um, I've got some struts on here okay I like using the Loctite sticky putty and I kind of set my transom up okay uh, Dr. Jet's actually sending me some stingers for this boat but uh, man I'm really oh man it's gonna be a tough decision you guys because with a strut like Cozy said you can actually get that strut you can get the through hole like low man it, it'll almost come out on the bottom of the boat with a stinger the through hole for this for the stuffing tube is going to be up a little bit higher so oh we'll see the stingers are going to be so much nicer to tune the boat but i think overall performance getting the props in the water the struts may be the ticket but uh we'll see we'll see so um so i'm gonna show you guys what's going on with the hatch but keep in mind my boat even if it's the same identical boat, my boat might be different than yours. You know, when they when they clean these parts up, the hatch, the hull at the at the factory, they're just whipping them out, and they just kind of take some sandpaper and just kind of clean them up just for uh, presentation. So uh, uh, each boat's going to be different. You know what I'm saying? So um, so what I like to do is find the, the part of the hatch that's not fitting right. Okay, so the back of my hatch goes in to the hole perfectly okay and uh i can get the the forward section to fit but i have to squeeze the hatch and it, and it really don't fit it don't fit good right here on both sides it's like tight right there okay and i think it may be on the corners i need to kind of take a little bit off the corner so what i like to do is i'll put put the hatch on where it fits one side you know look at it look at the gap okay so you guys see where it's like like button up from nothing right here and it, the gap gets larger as it goes up forward of the boat okay so we'll set this side in the in the hatch opening okay so it fits good right here 
fits good right here fits good and it starts getting like a thicker gap more toward the front just like the other side so I actually took my hatch off and I looked down this lip right here and you can actually see the lip it kind of it kind of like bows in okay same thing on this side it like come curves out and bows in so uh, so we really need to figure out which side we want to take the material off of okay um, a lot of times a hatch will sit on on a boat at an angle so uh, whichever way it's angled you want to work on the opposite side you feel me um, so mine actually looks like it's angled this way well, well I guess it looks like it's pretty good so I'm gonna start on mine I'm gonna start with just some 80 grit okay and I'm gonna go on my hatch and sand at an angle okay kind of sand at an angle all right uh, and maybe we can get it to drop in just by sanding the angle because a lot of times when they make these molds there's a little lip there's a lip on the mold like like this lip right here on this carbon fiber boat I pulled okay that lip all right so you you just want to kind of knock off at an angle on your hatch just to start off with of course you're going to have to pull the hatch sand a little bit put it back on for fit sand a little bit and you know keep going like that so um so like i said i'm going to actually hit it at an angle okay something like that make sure that lip's knocked off from, from the mold making process okay i'm going to hit these corners at an angle the, the length the length of it seems good so we're not really going to take off any up here it's just the sides that need a little bit of take taking off taking off okay so it's actually dropping in nice we got plenty of room around the corners okay and now what you want to do is look for the tight spot okay where it's like maybe even kind of go up and down and find where it's rubbing at okay listen to it feel it like where it's rubbing on the hull so we see it's got a big a big gap right here and the gap actually gets thinner as we come back you guys see how it's like a pencil pencil line and it slowly gets larger okay so we're going to need to take some material off from like right here to like right there I believe maybe a little bit on both sides okay, so now I get I feel like I feel I feel friction right here I don't really feel it so much right here now so we're gonna work it up okay we're gonna take some off right there and um it's, it's actually fitting in here pretty good i could basically uh just basically just drop the hatch right in the hole and she drops right down okay uh actually i have to push it down just a little bit which is the the way i want it you know uh she fits like a glove and i've actually run across a freaking issue with this hole and that's a freaking bummer i'll show you so um so check out this side it's like a, a perfect like hatch to hull uh, transition you know it, it's perfect you, you feel me on this side it, the hatch has a bow in it okay you guys see this right here you see that right there where it's raised up off the off the hull okay notice the front I've actually flipped the hatch over and sanded off the some of the bottom of the hatch because I was chasing. I'm sitting there chasing that freaking bow. I'm chasing. I'm like trying to set the hatch deeper and deeper into the hole. So I, I went around the bottom, which you got to do that sometimes, you know, to get your hatch to fit perfect. I'm sitting there chasing it, chasing it, chasing. It. I'm like, what in the hell? It's sitting low into the hole up here. Okay, 
low into the hole back here this side's lining up okay but this side right here is not so i'm sitting there chasing that freaking bow and uh you can see it you can see it um you can see it in the in the in the hole here okay you guys see how that side's perfect you can see the freaking bow right there okay it's an imperfection in the hatch and that's a freaking bummer sorry about that that's a bummer that's gonna look boss y'all it's gonna look boss man and this hatch i was wanting to put like a hook up front like i did my little delta force 23 you know a little hook up front with a simple thumb screw in the back and uh now i'm kind of rethinking it you know you know this boat's set up so you can run a center thumb screw you know or you can put thumb screws back here you know up front if you want to run thumb screws you're gonna have to put a piece of fiberglass or carbon fiber g10 right there with a little nut you know kind of like i did my my delta force 35 with the four thumb screws which i i actually like it i may actually put a pin here and a pin right here with a brass tube in the hole so it's the hatch slides into those two t brass tubes and then put the two thumb screws in the back you know that might work better than the hook with the thumb screw so we'll see we'll see but that's kind of a bummer man oh i can't ra wait to get started on this build like i said i've just been looking at it planning and thinking you know and uh i guess you need you guys need to take your electronics out the boat before you start saying in your hatch <laughs> it, it'll rinse off brush off it ain't no big deal so in the next video we're going to carbon fiber the inside carbon fiber the hatch okay that's our next step and i'm um, waiting on the hardware there so i can decide which way i want to go with that the nice thing about a twin motor mono hull uh with the twin motor you have counter rotating props in counter rotating out whichever one runs best on the boat i think i'm going to start with in for a uh for a mono okay but twin motor we ain't gonna worry about torque roll with big props okay you put two big props on this bad boy and she's just gonna go she ain't gonna torque roll she ain't gonna chime walk it's just gonna go boy hopefully hopefully all right we're probably gonna run it for you know our first couple like runs maybe uh a couple weeks run it with no trim tabs i want to see what it does with no trim tabs just curious use the struts or stingers to tune the boat with center gravity type deal and then uh if the boat needs it i'm gonna put trim tabs on but um yeah yeah that's how you fit a hatch you know it's a freaking bummer it's 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 bow right there oh boy i'm not heating no gel coat i'm not heating this up it's got gel coat on it i'm gonna just deal with it you know and uh I, i'm pretty sure i can't sand that out you know what i mean like there's no way there's no way so uh we'll see you guys next time uh it'll be a few days maybe longer before i get to the the carbon fiber because i'm i'm working on my this boat okay i got the hatch made so i didn't have air bubbles in it i actually used chopped up carbon fiber so i didn't have air bubbles in the in the uh in the layup it actually worked out pretty good it's still got pv on it but uh worked out pretty good pretty, pretty good i'm i'm having to sand this i think i'm gonna buff it out i don't want to freaking paint it <laughs> i want the carbon fiber to show you know what i mean if i filled in those other those bad spots with with epoxy i'm not using any filler on it yeah yep yep she's coming coming along coming along so uh we'll see you guys next time i'm gonna quit jacking my jaws <laughs>